the best conflict management style is. A. The avoiding style. B. The problem solving style. C. The bargaining style. D. The smoothing style. When you have been experiencing conflict with someone else, you should remember to A. Always apologize. B. Always compromise. C. Compromise, if needed. D. Always argue. When experiencing conflict, you are always going to build better relationships by compromising on the issues. A. True. B. Never true. C. Mostly true. D. True, in some cases. One of the most beneficial and critical skills in conflict resolution is A. Problem solving. B. Communication. C. Trust. D. None of these. The conflict can sometimes be clarified through A. Using power. B. Argument. C. Communication. D. None of these. The first thing that has to be done when resolving a conflict with someone is to A. Assertively but diplomatically state your perspective. B. Brainstorm possible solutions to the problem. C. Slap some sense into them. D. Listen to their perspective. When resolving conflict, it becomes essential to make a contact in which of the following circumstances? A. When you are brainstorming. B. When you are problem solving. C. When you are listening. You should use the forcing conflict management style when A. You need to arrive at a workable solution under time pressure. B. A creative solution is critical. C. Quick, decisive action is important. What is the most useful question to ask to discover the interests of the other person? A. Why? B. When? C. What? D. Who? Cooperating with the other party to understand their concerns and expressing your own concerns in an effort to find a mutually and completely satisfactory solution. A. Forcing. B. Collaborating. C. Taunting. Not paying attention to the conflict and not taking any action to resolve it. A. Avoiding. B. Collaborating. C. Compromising. Allowing the other party to satisfy their concerns while neglecting your own. A. Forcing. B. Compromising. C. Accommodating. Using formal authority or other power that you possess to satisfy your concerns without regard to the concerns of the party that you are in conflict with. A. Taunting. B. Collaborative. C. Forcing. Attempting to resolve a conflict by identifying a solution that is partially satisfactory to both parties, but completely satisfactory to neither. A. Accommodating. B. 
compromising. C. Collaborative. Most conflicts have their roots in uncertainty, and negotiation is a way of managing the A. Resultant risk B. Failure C. Uncertainty D. Inputs By making compromises on the issues when there is conflict, you will always improve your relationships. A. Never true. B. Mostly true. C. True, in some case. D. True. What is one benefit of active listening? A. Avoiding conflict later. B. Talking over people. C. Misinterpreting information. D. Ignoring the conversation. How can conflict management increase workplace productivity? A. Ignoring conflicts to maintain a status quo. B. Promoting conflicts among employees. C. Decreasing workplace tension. D. Increasing workplace tension. Contracts between a firm and its suppliers, its trade unions, and its customers are written to govern the settlement of A. Potential risk B. Potential uncertainty C. Potential failure Process which begins when one party perceives that the other has frustrated, or is about to frustrate, some concern of his, is known as A. Conflict B. Risk C. Uncertainty D. Poor management The organization establishes set of rules for itself and the individuals and groups with whom it interacts in the form of A. Agreement B. Orientation C. Negotiation D. Contracts Brute force can be a time-honored method for A. Resolving uncertainty B. Resolving conflict. C. Removing errors. D. Removing risk. The view that conflict is neither good nor bad is known as A. Radical. B. Pluralist. C. Interactionist perspective. D. Unitarist. The five conflict management style orientations are A. Competing, accommodating, avoiding, competition, and compromising. B. Competing, accommodating, avoiding, cooperation, and compromising. C. Competing, accommodating, avoiding, collaborating, and compromising. Which of the conflict management styles would be most often employed where two parties from similar cultures are in conflict? A. Compromising B. Avoiding C. Competing D. Collaboration The practical application of the collaborating and compromising approaches to conflict management is known as A. Negotiating B. Arbitration C. Mediation D. None of the above Win-win outcomes in intergroup conflict can be achieved by which type of bargaining? 
A. Distributive B. Compromise C. Avoidance D. Integrative The area between resistance points where there exists point where two parties can meet their aspirations is known as A. Agreement B. Settlement range C. Negotiation D. Bargaining What is the acronym used in Lanier's approach to customer service and what does it stand for? A. GSS, Give, Serve, Send B. GSG, Greet, Serve, Goodbye C. GSS, Greet, Serve, Send D. GAS, Give Away the Store A party that expedites lateral communication between interacting groups by circumventing formal organizational boundaries is known as A. Collaboration B. Competition C. Avoidance D. Liaison Zero-sum bargaining is also known as A. Integrative bargaining B. Distributive bargaining C. Mediated bargaining D. Arbitration Refers to confrontation between two ideas, goals, and parties that improve employees and the organization's performance. A. Functional conflict B. Dysfunctional conflict. C. Avoidance conflict. There are types of tra sanction in transactional analysis. A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. Every individual plays a number of roles in social and organizational situation. A conflict arises when his individual expectations are different from others while playing the role is called as A. Role conflict B. Role identity C. Difference in personality Conflict is A. An unavoidable fact of life B. Sometimes constructive C. A destructive force in relationship if avoided D. All of the above Which of the following is a tactic of avoiding conflict? A. Competing B. Stonewalling C. Autonomy D. Compromising Individual concern model the style which represents a low level of concern for both self and other known as A. Avoiding B. Dominating C. Obliging D. Compromising An interpersonal conflict in which no participant is aware of the divergence of goals, needs, or interests is known as A. Latent conflict B. False conflict C. Cause of action D. None of the given options The first step in conflict diagnosis is to describe the A. Conflict B. Disputant C. Motives D. Position
Blind self is a concept is closely related to a. Perception b. Transactional analysis c. Personality d. Learning What is a conflict? a. A disagreement between two people over an idea b. A disagreement between multiple people physically c. A battle d. All of the answers Which of these is the closest definition to avoiding? A. The problem is ignored, relationships are hurt BYT the delay in tackling the conflict. B. One person in the conflict does whatever they can to make the person happy, even if that means they don't get what they want. C. Both sides decide to come up with a solution that works in everyone's favor and gets their goal. A settlement of difference in which each side gives up something, a middle course. A. Compromise. B. Conflict. C. Resolution. D. Assumption. An attempt to manage conflict by giving in to the demands is A. Accommodating. B. Withdrawing. C. Computing. It's not my problem would be a response from an individual who uses which conflict management style? A. Avoidance. B. Compromise. C. Collaboration. When partners in conflict focus in shared interests, they a. try to establish standards for an acceptable solution. b. use problem-solving techniques to generate a solution. c. emphasize common in interests, values, and goals. Which of the following is not one of the causes of conflict? A. Manager did not set clear objectives and expectation of the project scope. B. Manager arranged a meeting with employee privately and was asking non-relevant personal questions during office hour. C. Employee schedule a meeting with manager to catch up on his performance appraisal. Which of the following conflicts can be categorized as a group conflict? A. Conflict between co-workers in the same team. B. Conflict between a company's sales and marketing departments. C. Conflict between a customer and a service representative. D. Conflict between an employee and his manager. Virtual teams may be more vulnerable to conflict due to miscommunications. A. True. B. False. What is the most ideal form of conflict management? A. Competing. B. Collaborating. C. Avoiding. D. Accommodating. Which statement about conflict is false? A. Conflict is good and healthy for your marriage. B. Conflict helps clear the air of negative emotions. C. All conflict is resolvable. D. Two threes of all divorces were labeled as low conflict marriages. E. You may need to give yourself permission to have conflict. The worst approach to conflict resolution is A. To want to win B. To seek healing and restoration C. To see yourselves as a team 
D. To seek a win-win. E. To assess your own mindset first. Which is the best approach in telling your spouse you want to talk about a problem? A. Honey, we need to talk. B. You did something that upset me. Can we talk? C. Honey, something's been bothering me. Would this be a good time to talk for about five minutes? If the conflict becomes heated, then it's okay to A. Drop the subject. B. Call your parents for advice. C. Call a temporary timeout. D. To keep arguing. When you reconvene after a timeout, you should begin by A. Restating your case. B. Trying to clarify the real issue. C. Try to clarify what you heard your partner saying. D. By letting the person who called the timeout speak first.